everybody, it's the Lawn Gnome, and welcome to another DC Animated Classics update video. If you're new to my channel, let me just say welcome. It is a pleasure to have you. And for all of you returning, I know that there are a great many of you that have been commenting when it comes to my monthly updates, how much you just love when I talk about comic books and superheroes. So I'm pretty sure that you guys are looking and finding these specific videos on my channel, and they're sort of kind of growing on you. So today we're not going to be talking about the newest installment in the DC Animated animated universe film library, but rather the second library that is still relatively new that started with the legendary Adam West and Burt Ward with Batman Return of the Cape Crusader with the newest addition to the DC animated movie library. I call it classics just because of the fact that this library consists of a lot of different kinds of films, some that are connected, some that are standalones, and they mostly are revolving around the DC heroes based on a lot of television. And we have gotten, as I said, the Adam Weston Burt Ward Batman. We've gotten a lot of movies from the Arrowverse, as well as an amazing crossover between the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and Batman, and the Teen Titans and Teen Titans Go. So today we're going to be dipping into another interesting film, and this one, I'm going to have to say, is probably one of the few that you really need to proceed with caution on. Not to say that it's bad, as a matter of fact, it's very, very good, but it is not for the faint of heart, and that, of course, is Deathstroke, Knights, and Dragons, starring the voice of Michael Chiklis as Slade Wilson, a.k.a. Deathstroke. So, Deathstroke, for me, is a character that I know very well. He's, he's not necessarily a character I know a lot more than most people, but he's the one that I have been exposed to a great many times, whether it was watching the show Arrow, whether it was watching some of the animated shows, but Deathstroke is definitely a fan favorite amongst many. And in this film, we definitely see a step above in the world of Deathstroke, and he shows up more as an anti-hero than he does a straight-up villain, because if you are a fan of the 2003 Teen Titans show, you know that Slade just gives Robin and the Teen Titans a hard time, and especially if you watched the Justice League film and saw the post credit scene, he doesn't really seem to have that anti-hero vibe. But in this case, we definitely look at him in a very interesting light. We get a look at his life as a mercenary. We get a look at his life as a family man. And we get a lot of his relationship with his ex-wife and his children. And I say children because if there's one thing that is very interesting about this film is it really revolves around the concept of family. And there are definitely a lot of things to savor as DC fans. And there are also a lot of interesting plot twists that involve family. You just gotta see it to believe it. But as I said, this movie is a hard rated R film. I love the fact that they're actually making movies like this because it really gives Warner Brothers animated division here with DC to really explore the capabilities of what they can do with animation. I had said for many, many years that one of the greatest triumphs in animation was the HBO three seasons spawn the animated series because it showed that you do not have to make an animated show for children. You can make one that teenagers and adults are going to appreciate. This movie has got a lot of gore. This movie has got a lot of intense action. This movie has got a lot of foul language. Even the F-bomb has been dropped a couple of times in this film. And that is something that they were slowly doing as they kept making all of these animated films, especially if the setting was right. I would definitely say that Michael Chiklis did a great job job voicing Deathstroke. I mean, there are some people that say that when you hear him talk, you recognize him immediately. I like Michael Chiklis as the thing in the Tim Story Fantastic Four duology, but there are just some people that don't care for him, but I personally did like it. I thought the movie was very well done. It was beautifully animated. It definitely had great character development. I learned a lot more about Deathstroke than I actually thought I knew about him, though I still will say that I'm not someone that wants to dive a little bit deeper into it. The only thing that I'm curious about is what universe does this movie belong in, because this was 
produced by Greg Berlanti, who is responsible for the Arrowverse, as well as some of these films in this library, like Freedom Fighters The Ray, and Vixen the Movie, and of course Constantine, City of Demons, which are revolving around the Arrowverse. And I don't know if this is actually the Arrowverse Deathstroke, so if he is, just put your comments in the box below and let me know. He definitely doesn't fit into the Arrowverse atmosphere on the CW, but it was definitely nice to see a movie like this this get made. I think that the DC Animation Division has definitely decided that these are going to be things we're going to be seeing a lot more often. It was the killing joke that pretty much set the bar, and then we got a couple more of them following, and the more recent offering, which was Justice League Dark Apocalypse War, also a very hard R for good reason. So this is definitely going to be one that you should definitely see if you've been a fan of all of these animated films. If you are not someone who's the biggest fan, this may not be your cup of tea, but all I'm going to say is, if you are going to take a look at this movie and watch it, do not let your kids, especially if they are under the age of 12, I will go a little further to 12, don't let them watch this movie. This movie is way too intense. It is just not for them, but for good reason, and it is fantastic. So that's it, everybody. Those are my thoughts on Deathstroke, Knights, and Dragons. I would really like to know what your thoughts are, so please put them in the box below. And I'm looking forward to seeing you guys in another DCAU update in September when we review the newest addition to the DC Universe Animated Movie Library. Take care. Hey, thank you so much for stopping by my channel today. If you're new here and want to see more of what my channel has to offer, please click on the link to my last video or hit that subscribe button to be kept up to date with all of my uploads. Content of all sorts is posted here quite often, so trust me, you do not want to fall behind. I will see you in the comments, and actions speak louder than words.